Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the Demon Overlord. Today we are doing a different style of review of Wizards of the Coast products. It's not D&D miniatures, but it is something that technically is comparable to Dungeons & Dragons. We have the Magic the Gathering Ikoria 15 card collector booster. Now as you've known with Ikoria, they did get pushed back. So this is, as I'm recording this, it is May 15th, 2020. And I look forward to this because they have something special here, which is why I had to review on it. And that are the, let's read the back here, shall we, to review it. Godzilla has crashed ashore. I can't wait to get Godzilla cards. It's really what I'm looking for. So let's get started here and open these up. And um, while I'm opening this first one here and getting it all, oh, get the plastic removed, I'd like to say once again, do check out our channel for our Dice and Dummies podcast for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. It is the Dice and Dummies. You can find us on Stitcher, Pinecast, all the other sites you can find podcasts on. We're there. So do check out our podcast. We always love to get more subscribers, more listeners. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to get a hold of any members of the group on our Twitters or leave a comment down below if you have any questions you want to leave through there. Also, you can get a hold of me specifically on 01Berserker for my Twitter account. If you want to get a hold of any specific favorite character... They're at the end of our Twitter, of our podcast episodes every time. And this time, it is season two we're on right now, where I am actually DMing. So, please do check us out. And here we go. The inside, which is just another package, which I don't know why they did that, but nice and uh, shiny, this one. Because I've seen the other packages in stores, and they're not much different. Get the actual package itself here. Feels nice and girthy, which is always good. I look forward to my Godzilla card, because I'm hoping to get a couple specifics. I'd love to get Death Corona... I'd also love to get King Ghidorah, maybe, but I want to definitely get the Godzilla Primal Champion, as that one being an 11-11 green creature trample would be epic. Okay, so first off here, we have a holographic feather. It's holographic, but just basic in um, rarity, but nice uh, holographic token feather. As you can see, Sacrifice Feather, Return Target, Phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think the Phoenix is actually Mothra, so it's so you can get Mothra back, but, you know. Uh, here we have Bloodfell Caves, a nice holographic cave there. I mean, I love how you get to add a life, and you can also do Fire or Darkness, or sorry, Swamp. And I like that. I mean, it's sad it still comes tapped, but it is what it is. It's not a basic land, so. Uh, here we got our first Aura, or Enchantment. We have Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets negative two, negative two. And this is dead weight. So, basically, this is just like dropping a weight on a creature's leg or something. I think that's the idea they went with there. Uh, here we have Farfinder. It's a fox creature. Holographic and very nice. Looks like we're getting pretty much all holographics in this one. I've seen some that don't have any holographics. Barely at all. Uh, so far, nothing really rare. Everything's uh, pretty just holographic. We're all basic value. Let's see. Uh, it has Vigilance. Um, yeah, it can allow you to find a basic land, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. So it allows you to shuffle up the library if you're getting nothing good. Um, oh, here's an on another creature. This is definitely a defensive creature. We have, I, if I butcher this, I am sorry, Crystation. Crystation. I think it's if you say it correctly, Crystation. A uh, nice big crab. It has flash, so I can play this whenever I want, which is nice. Let's see here. Oh, we have another beast. It's a bird goat. This is, must be one of those chimera monsters they were talking about, one of these uh, mixed monsters, which, I, which by technicality are chimeras. has flying. Um, Let's see. Something about non-combat damage would be dealt to this. Oh! So uh, this thing actually basically is safe from any card that attacks it with damage, like a lightning bolt or something. You can actually convert it into a 1-1 counter for this guy, so you convert that into power. And um, it's pretty cool. That's nice. He's uh, not very powerful, but he is defended from lightning bolt stuff. Oh, here we go. This is the card that actually basically is Godzilla. And it's our first actual, or second actual, sorry, second uh, uncommon. I forgot that he's actually uncommon. Didn't see, notice it. But we have the Titan Titanoth Rex. I always want to put an R in there, so my apologies if it sounded weird that I said that. But here's our first uncommon big giant monster, which is basically the Primal Champion, but he's also nice holographic. I love that he's got Trample, a nice big beefy 11-11. You can also put, like, a trample counter on target creature you control. That's another sweet little addition, too. Always love that. You can always make another creature get trampled that way. Uh, here we have just a basic land, but nice and holographic with a nice style. Pretty cool there. 
Let's see what we got here. Okay, here's a non-holographic. First non-holographic in here, but this is a rare, and it is Fierce Guardianship. If you control a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. That's pretty cool. And you can counter-target non-creature spells. So any spell you can target as long as it's not a creature, which is pretty cool. Not bad. It's not a bad either, only being three costs. Oh, here's our first legendary creature that we got, as well as a... Sorry, I want to see if... Yeah, he's not legendary, but like... Anyway, our first uh, full art card. I love this. It's a Hellion, and it is the Obosh, the Prey Piercer. Now, this is actually really cool. He is now actually rare as well, being gold. He is not holographic, as you can see, but he's pretty cool looking. I like these full art cards. They add a level of awesomeness look to it. Let's see. Companion. Oh, your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs and land cards. So, I'm not really sure what that means. Um, Pretty cool. I mean, I like it. He looks pretty nice. I love what you can do. Like, you can use Swamp or Fire to pay for him. Uh, he would definitely be awesome to throw in a Hellion deck if you're making a deck of pure Hellions. Let's see. Here's a card I have seen other people open for. It is the Eerie Ultimatum. It's not that bad. I mean, return any permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to, in, to the battlefield. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, you know, you could basically bring back your entire graveyard with this if you had a bunch of, as long as you don't have any cards that are the same name. Now, I don't know if this works with Godzilla or and Titaneth Rex, if they're both in your thing or your deck, if they can both be brought back, since they're kind of the same thing, but just a different look. I'd assume that would probably be home rules. And our first, oh, okay. I actually didn't check. Oh, it's also rare, too. My apologies. Getting ahead of, I keep getting ahead of myself. I'm sort of hoping to see what the Godzilla card is in here, because these are all guaranteed a Godzilla card, so I have my fingers crossed. Uh, we have a Nightmare Creature, the Cavern Whisper. He's only five cost. Let's see, Mutate, and then Menace, and whenever this card mutates, each opponent discards a card. Oh, it's not too bad. I mean, you know, if you got nothing else to do a turn, you can throw that out. There's a nice ability. Oh, we have a Chittering Harvester. That's uh, not a full art. It's the Black Rim card. But, you know, and that wasn't a full art either, but they look nice. I like this new style because it's different looking. It looks different. Let's see, he has Mutate. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. So that's not too bad either. Pretty nice uh, second nightmare. I've never seen this one in a... Uh, Unbox for that's pretty cool. Here we have a dirge bat, which is just a bat with mutate flash. He's rare too. He's on. So the last two, sorry, I meant, forgot to mention the cavern whisperer is just common, and the uncommon is the chittering harvester. And the dirge bat here is actually a rare, surprisingly, but he's a nice full art. I mean, even though he's a little cartoony, I like the full art there. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker opponent controls. Yeah, okay, he's going to be literally a giant jerk to all my friends when we play our group-style magic. And, oh my goodness, I got Space Godzilla. Not Death Corona, but I got Big Cord Space Godzilla. Full art and rare. He is a 6-6 with Mutate. Uh, he costs one Swamp, one Forest, one Water, and two Random Six. Only a 5. That's not bad. And he is supposed to be, uh, let's see, Brockos, Apex of Forever is the card he's based off. He has Trample, and you may cast Brockos Apex of Forever from your graveyard using its Mutate ability. Okay, this basically means as long as I have the mana, I can keep bringing him back as long as he's not dispelled. That's awesome. Oh, and we have a beautiful holographic. Okay, sorry, the Godzilla card's gonna go up here since he's the, you know, epic rareness there. We have Auspicious Sterix. I have seen his elk beast before. He's like a giant elk monster. Only a five to cost, too. It's not bad. He's a uncommon. Nice holographics there. I do like this uh, artwork. I kind of like this over some of the new stuff with magic because it's just, I don't know. It, maybe it's my anime fan in me. That's uh, Maybe it's the otaku in me that's saying this, but I just like his look. And I'm sorry, I am taking forever. I just realized I'm already up to nine minutes and I've only gotten through the first box. Uh, he was uncommon. So let's get to the second one here. I know people who've gotten... Well, actually... Eh, whatever. So remember, I'm doing this unboxing. Yes, it's I'm not the first one to do it, but I'm doing it for all the average Joes out there who don't have an ability to get these things early or have their sneaky tricks. I don't really have many. I'm just an average guy doing my average tricks to get them if I can get things early. So, turn them along here. Like I said, guys, just another in case you've joined late um, into the episode or you skipped ahead, do check out our podcast for the Dice and Dummies once again. If you want to get a hold of me personally, I'm at 01Berserker for Twitter. And leave a comment down below. And please do like and subscribe. It helps keep my channel going, guys. It helps me keep wanting to pump out stuff. And, oh, okay. First out of the box here, we have another holographic token, which I think almost all tokens are holographic. We have a nice cat uh, one here with Lifelink. 
Nice little 1-1 one, one cat with lifelink. Pretty cool there. Nice little token creature. Uh, here we have another instant. It is Frostvale Ambush. Now, I'm not going to start reading all these just because I want to start getting a move along here. I'll do it for any rares and stuff like that, but he is common. Same as the cat. Here we have another common. Nice uh, holographic. We have Fire Prophecy. Only two to cast. Not bad. Uh, it looks like it just deals damage to a player and then not much extra. Uh, oh, we got a creature here. It is a randomly com a common creature, human soldier. It is the Night Squad Commando. Now, I know this is already from the city in the monster world of Ikoria that doesn't like monsters. So this is good for anyone who has white human tokens or has soldiers tokens because she's definitely going to need them as she looks like she creates them. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, next up, we have the Prickly Marmoset. So it's like a prickly porcupine monkey. Pretty cool. I like the Chimera fuses of these creatures. That's pretty interesting. It's nice and outside the box. It's got First Strike. Um, and whenever you cycle a card, it gets plus two. So it's only a two, three. Not bad. Nice little uh, creature to get out in the battlefield to protect. He's only, he is unfortunately just common. Here's our first uncommon of this set. We have the, of this pack. We have the Migration Path. Looks like a giant uh, animal herd. It looks like Africa going on there, but well, actually more like maybe the caribou running across a uh, nice grassland. Not bad. I mean, it's only four cast. Okay, here we got a human warrior and an animal like pairing. So that's one of the things of this thing is that you get human animal like groups that work together. The Hornbash Mentor, he is uncommon, a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, counter on each creature you control with trample. So that's not too bad. He can boost up creatures with trample. And he has the ability to put... Oh, so okay. Basically, he can put um, uh, trample tokens onto a creature, giving them trample, and then at the end, he can put a counter on each creature with the trample. So himself and other monsters, he can boost them up. And he is uncommon, which is nice. Oh, we got a nice little basic land here. Nice uh, common, but holographic that. Not bad. Not much to go about there. Uh, here we have a Daring Fiend Bonder. So this Bonder looks like he bonded with a demon or a fiend of some sort. So he has to attack each turn with only a 5-1. He isn't probably going to survive long. Oh, okay, but you can use him as a uh, waste or a sacrifice because it looks like from the grave where he can put an indestructible token on or counter on target creature. And you can only do it when you can activate a sorcery so during your turn properly. So, oh, we have a full art card, a nice human wizard who is actually, oh, is he rare? Oh, sorry, he's a, oh, he actually is rare. Couldn't tell, I couldn't see from that angle, but here's another rare or like, you know, very rare, whatever it is, you know. Here is the Dranith Magistrate. Nice, uh, I think... Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think he actually is in the story as, like, being very special, but he's just, like, a elite person or something. But let's see. Opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. That's pretty nice. He makes it basic so they can't... I don't know if that counts for abilities, but that's pretty nice that he can basically stop you from casting anything from non-hands. So any deck-based creatures from the graveyard cannot activate their abilities. Pretty nice. And here we have Classification... This one's been out a lot. It just basically makes a creature get basically bigger, giving them a 20-20, which makes it really good. And I don't know. Yeah, so basically it starts them off with 20-20, but they're going to have to start a turn tapped, so they don't get to use it. Okay, we have another cat, and that was a rare as well. It's not one of the very rares, a shame. But here we go. We have another Cavern Whisperer. Eh, kind of boring. We have another Cat Chittering Harvester. He's uncommon, like the last one. Uh, we have a land here, special full art land. And it is the Mountain Plain Swamp land. It is a... Comes in tapped, it has cycling, so a creature needs cycling is good. And you can add a forest... Or sorry, no, swamp. Plains and a volcano, or a uh, nice basic uh, mountain. So that's not bad. Nice rare land too. And oh... Okay, so we got us. So we didn't get the guy I was hoping for. We got his son, uh, Babyzilla, the Rain Reborn or Ruin Reborn. Sorry, I keep thinking ahead. And he's supposed to be, let's see, Polywog Symbiote. Uh, let's see, he just makes it cheaper for creatures to have, makes them one cheaper for creatures that mutate, which isn't bad. And then you get to draw and discard a card every time you cast a creature that has the mutate. So that's not bad. It's cool. You know, he's a nice little uh, full art little card. I love how all the Godzillas are full arts. And then we got us a nice uh, common, but holographically nice, Cavern Whisperer, so not bad. 
And so far, we're only down with two of these things. So that's why they trust Ray. Sorry about that. And I gotta get this open. Sorry, someone's trying to play the TV while I'm trying to open boxes. I hate when that happens. So I'm putting an alarm on my TV to turn it on at that point. So my bad. Come on, you. Come on. And this one is being stubborn to open for some accursed reason. My goodness. It's like they didn't want me to open this one. I only got four of these things. For goodness gracious. Can't stop me now. I'm hoping to get a Godzilla. Any Godzilla. Because Zilla's my man. Zilla's my dude. But I mean, Anger has to be cool. And so it would definitely be Corona. I mean, I already got Space Godzilla, the other version, which isn't bad. Okay, let's see. Let's open here. Okay, right out the gate, I can see a feather token. Another holographic common feather. So we're not going to waste our time with it. We have the Almighty Brushwog. Looks like a spiky, sort of a brushy porcupine-ish monster. It has trample and gets plus 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 when you play its Almighty ability. And he's only one. So, interesting little common creature. Not bad. Uh, here we have a Day Squad Marshal. So, a nice human soldier. Nice holographics, but common. Let's see, we have the ability, we have the card keep save, counter target spell, counter target spell that targets a permit you control, so, you know, like a card, it's just common too. We have the wilt spell? Oh, okay, target artifact or enchantment. Okay, and also can do cycling, so, okay. Another common, here's an uncommon here, we have the, oh, we have the Saval Crystal. I think if I'm correct, this is actually the big crystal in the game that's like, everyone's trying to get their hands on for power. Like, it helps control the beasts and stuff, if I remember correctly, but I think someone told me about how the book goes in the story. Really cool. I like it. And, oh, here we go. We have a nice big dinosaur. We have Momentum Rumbler. He's a four to cast, uncommon. Uh, does, if it doesn't have first strike, put a first strike counter on it. Oh, cool. So he actually gets a first strike, or first strike counter put on him if he doesn't have it. And he gets double strike. So that's pretty cool. So basically, he gives himself double strike at return. It's a sneaky way around it, but yeah, that's pretty cool. He's an uncommon. Nice holographics. I uh, got a nice, good-looking forest. I like that forest, the ballooning-type trees. Looks pretty nice. Uncommon. Or that's a basic. We have a Bonder's Ornament. That's pretty interesting. And this is the regular. Oh, we have a hu an, oh, an enchantment this time being a uh, rare full art. That's interesting. Whenever, a non whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. Okay, that's normal. Okay, here we got some new monsters. Thank goodness. I was getting really concerned. We got a lot of those horrors. Uh, Karuga the Macrosage. I think I said that right. If I didn't, sorry, I butchered it. Looks like he's a hippo mixed with a stegosaurus and a saber tooth tiger merged into one. He's a dinosaur hippo with 5 4. He's a legendary creature. Only five mana to play. That's not bad. Okay. That's interesting. He's a really nice card, though. He is a rare, too. Uh, let's see. We have the Trumpeting Ganar. I'm going to say Ganar. I don't know if I'm right. He's only three to play. He's three. He's uncommon. Mutate. So, yeah, we got a nice uh, different monster. Nice. Uh, I like the uh, sort of animation-ish artwork. We have the Dreamtail Heron. Only five to play. Elemental Bird. So, this is one of those elemental monsters I've see heard about. Haven't seen any elementals, elementals yet. Oh, we have, okay. If I'm correct, this is actually basically what is supposed to be Mothra, the Ever Quill Phoenix. If I'm correct, this is supposed to be the what actually is Mothra. Yeah. Because it allows you to create a red artifact token named Feather Token. Uh, what's that, Chris? Yeah, and then it allows this thing to come back to life all the time. Okay, we got us our first uh, duplicate draw. This is rare, by the way. A nice card, though. This is actually a good one. We have Baby Zell, the Ruin again. Same thing. He'll go on top of his buddy. Ooh, but here we got Huntmaster Liger. That's a cool cat monster. 3-4, not bad. He's uncommon, so he's not rare, but, you know, take what we can get. Okay, now we're getting on to the last box. I'm still crossing fingers to get a Godzilla, the Primeval. I really want him. I mean, I got his non-Godzilla form, but I'd really like to get Godzilla... Or even the other Godzilla with the shooting atomic fire and his artwork would be cool. Or if I get Space Corona would be also pretty sweet. Because he's a pretty pricey card right now out there. Like, people are selling him for gangbusters. 
I mean, hopefully now that they've finally released Ikoria, these guys who do that and want, like, hundreds of dollars for a single card, it's like, hopefully they can chill out and stop doing it now, because it's unnecessary. That's the kind of thing that's price gouging the market and making cards just a horrible thing to get into for anyone who wants to enjoy the game. Okay. Here we are. It's opened. Sorry if this video isn't taking a while, guys. I mean, I hold no regrets if you jumped around through it. Because, I mean, I should have pre-opened these all before if I really wanted to do this. Man, I first time I've ever done a card unboxing, so to speak. Okay, so we got a nice beast token here. It's just a regular, common dino deer, or dino elk. Pretty cool looking. Nice holographics. Okay, we have mutual destruction. Yeah, it just destroys target creature. And then you also have to sacrifice a creature, so you gotta lose one to kill someone that else is off. That's interesting. Oh, we have a lava serpent. That's like an elemental serpent. It's pretty sweet. It's like a 5-5. Five, five. It's nice. I wish it was uncommon to make it better, but it has haste on it, which is okay. And then it's got a nice cycling ability. I mean, if you really have to cycle. Uh, let's see here. We have a nice land of a forest and plains. Blossoming sands, nice holographics. Ooh, we got the durable coil bug. So basically, it's a pill bug. I, I'm going to be honest. It's like a pill bug. Nice little insect. He's only like two. Oh, he's a two, two. Okay, he's a little better. I thought he was going to be weaker. Only two mana play. Oh, you can turn from the graveyard to your hand. So, eh. If you really want him back, you just want the creature. Ooh, we have an interesting nightmare with two different abilities with Death Touch and Mutate. And he has, like, secondary abilities. each like, two different things on there. Wow, that's really interesting. So we have Insatiable Hemophage, which looks like a blood-sucking vampire with 3-3. Three, three. So he's not bad. He's uncommon. So that's pretty cool there. 3-4. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'll have to look at his abilities later, but he's pretty cool looking. Oh, here's another uncommon. We have Channeled Force. Now, uh, let's see. It looks like you can bump this spell up by discarding X number of cards. Target player just draws X cards. Canceled force. Or sorry, channel force deals X damage. Wow. Talk to one target creature or planeswalker. So yeah, if you want to really whoop on someone's planeswalker, I guess. I mean, it's not good otherwise, but let's see. Basic swamp. We already have that one. Here's one. We got a saw tusk demolisher. It's like a weird deer goat hybrid with an elephant's tusk. And then, wow, that's a... Pretty tough one, too. It's a 6-6 six, six with Trample. It's a pretty interesting uh, big old monster beastie. Not holographic, but he is a uncommon, so he's pretty cool. Whoa, here's a really interesting a cave drawing monster. Or uh, into, That's cool. It's a uh, rare. Mythos of Nethrol. Wow. Destroy target non-permanent if it's a creature or if blank blank was spent to cast a spell. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. That, that's pretty cool. Here we have Death's Oasis. Okay, this allows you to get some cards like from the graveyard to your hand or whatever. Not bad. It is a rare, so. We have another of the Herons. So we're just going to skip it. Ooh, we have the Regal Leosaur, the dinosaur cat. I've seen that bad boy there, and he's pretty cool looking. Nice art. I like the whole thing there. And we got the... Oh, another cat beast. We have the Cub Warden. So I'm guessing basically it's a female mom cat. I mean, it's defending cubs. It's basically a mom cat. I like how it has lifelink at 3-5. Create two 1-1 one, one cat creature tokens with lifelink. So yeah, you can make a pretty good amount of uh, cats there if you mutate a couple times. So, okay, we got Gigon the Cyberclaw Terror. Legendary Demon Kraken. That's what he was supposed to be. Doom of the Depths. That was his original creature. Uh, let's see. Companion, your starting deck contains only cards of even converted mana cost. Blah, blah, blah. 6-6. Six, six, he is rare. Nice full art. And then we got us an art. A uncommon Leosaur with a holographics. So anyway. As we can see here, I got two Zillas. Or two baby Zillas here. And then we got a nice Skygan. And then I also did get... You know, Space Godzilla, which I'll accept that, because, I mean, still is technically a Godzilla. So, in the end, though, got some pretty cool cards. Probably going to have to pick up some more um, uh, Collector Booster soon. 
hopefully while they're still doing the releases of Godzilla and them. Well, anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. You know, if you have any questions of where I snagged them, it was Walmart. <laughs> Happened to stop by there today. I was picking up some stuff, and I forgot those came out. I was like, I better grab some before they're, you know, all snagged up. But, you know. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for my next videos in the future. I will be going back to miniatures in the next video. So, you know, look forward to that if you're looking forward to it. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Please do like and subscribe. And see you guys, and bye-bye.